much. Now, if you text and drive, or if you have a teenager who you fear texts and drives, this next story is definitely for you. And you know, you know this is a serious business, right? When the insurance industry and the auto giants start talking about it. Distracted driving caused by texting and other things as well, is blamed for thousands of traffic deaths a year in the United States. Major insurance companies like Allstate have started aggressive social media campaigns against teen texting. And uh, the issue has come up at the North American Auto Show in Detroit as well, where some new in-car technology is supposed to help us draw the line between doing our tweeting and our emailing and our talking and everything else all of it while driving the darn car, right? We know we shouldn't do it, but we do it, right? Automotive analyst Lauren Fix joins us now with more on what is new in safety and technology on the road. Lauren, thanks a lot for being here. How serious a problem is texting and driving? It's a very serious problem. I mean, when you think about how many deaths there are each year, not just texting and driving, from all the distractions, distractions from sound systems to literally the navigation that's why hyundai came up with this blue link system which helps solve this problem and make it easier but sometimes the technology can be a little daunting to people who are used to this technology and that's why we're going to explain it to you Good, lauren you mentioned hyundai you mentioned the technology uh, lauren and her 18 year old daughter shelby actually did a little demonstration of how this works let's watch that now let's roll the tape and we'll talk about it in just a sec there are a lot of driver distractions and we all want to keep our eyes in the road but this new technology can be very intimidating so who better to explain it to us than a teen shelby fix the teen car coach and she's going to make it so i don't feel intimidated about some of this new technology because this cloud-based technology can be concerning for people who aren't from your generation right so tell us how the hyundai blue link works well the hyundai blue link is actually cloud technology you're actually calling someone up in the cloud it's a cloud-based system what you do is you press a button on your rearview mirror and it comes to a home screen you can ask what the restaurant rates are you can ask about any restaurant you like mm -hmm. you can ask about gas prices oh. or navigation anything you like now i know that this is great to find a destination but parents and teens and everyone finds themselves sometimes texting while driving which is dangerous so what can we do to keep our eyes in the road what does blue link offer us that we haven't seen before well what you do is you actually speak to the voice recognition agent mm -hmm. and she will type in whatever you say it understands accents it understands slang and understands if you stutter and then you speak so it's pretty cool lauren it does sound uh, quite cool quite new i mean is this really going to stop people from just you know picking it up and, and texting away do you think well I, I think that if you understand the technology and how easy it is to use something like blue link is something that anyone can use you won't be using your phone you can leave your phone in the center console it can do the texting it'll do the dialing from your phone all you have to do is connect it through bluetooth it's so simple it's simpler than what we've seen in other systems and this is very new technology it's coming out this summer it's going to be in the sonata and in the new uh volster and these are really neat uh technologies that we're now seeing all the pairing from ces is all coming over that cloud-based technology getting what consumers want they found a study that people were afraid to talk to someone for a long period of time uh, when it came to some of these turn-by-turn -turn navigation systems because they thought it was another distraction so this is a solution to make it easy, simple to use. I mean, Shelby was able to explain it to me in just moments, and she picked it up so much quicker than I did. Yeah, is this a big deal for the auto companies? I mean, is this something that they're, you know, spending a lot of money and a lot of resource, a lot of brain power on? Oh yeah, there's tons, tons of technology involved. Ford has Sync, Kia has Uvo, Mercedes has a system put together by Hughes, uh, Audi is putting together a system. Everybody's putting together a system because we all understand there are distractions and all this new technology that you're seeing coming in from every aspect of electronics into our vehicle even microsoft is working on systems we need to find ways to keep us safer on the road and the manufacturers are well aware of that so their key number one reason for doing this is safety for making your life easier because this is your living room on wheels where you used to have a conversation at home now the conversations are occurring in the car not just through work, but home and with your family. And that's what we've always done, at least my kids in this generation. So they're very well connected and being connected is so important that many vehicles like the VW Passat is gonna have internet in it. And so is the Mercedes C-Class. 
So with all this connectivity, we have to start thinking about it. Carmen, for example, is now coming out with a system where you can take all your smartphone apps and put them into your car. Yeah. So you don't want Pandora It's anymore. great. You know what, Lord? It's great it's hands-free and, you know, all this technology is coming out. But aren't we still just filling ourselves with all kinds of distractions? Even the chatting is a distraction in the car, though. Right, I mean, you can have a cup of coffee and that can be a distraction. Uh, I, hey, I still see people trying to read the paper and drive and shave. Oh, and Obviously, do their makeup, yeah. Constant, yes, and that's all common sense. That you can't buy. That is something that we can only educate and inform, and that's what we do every day. All right. Um, as the car coach, Shelby and I do that. We try our best to let people be aware. Lauren, thank you so much. Interesting stuff. Appreciate it. Thank you for having us. All right, and do not text and drive. Pauline, back over to you.